guy called Bud Wayne came in, who was the owner of the Georgian that I used to always go by and compliment him how great his hotel was. Well, he came in and said, Gary, I'm gonna be selling the hotel and you asked me to offer it to you first. And frankly, I don't want it to be known on the market with all the brokerage people that it's for sale because it has senior citizens in there as hotel guests. If you were interested and you, we could work out a price, I could sell it to you and no one would even know about it. So I said, Bud, I am thrilled. And I just happen to have some money, but I'd have to sell even more. I'd have to sell my design center to get it, to be able to have enough cash for the down payment. Bud wanted a certain amount of money and I offered him a little bit less and it was an incredibly low price, comparatively speaking, because if it had gone on the market, it would have been 50% higher. And I ended up buying it subject to rent control being removed. So there was no chance that I could end up stuck with a building that I could not convert to a higher and better use, which at the time would have been a boutique bed and breakfast. And uh, so I bought the George and I had a one year escrow. I got it out of rent control within two months. And uh, I ended up converting 80% of the rooms to um, uh, beautiful uh, but clean looking, not the typical gooped up bed and breakfast interiors, uh, but uh, fairly clean extended stay rooms. And uh, it was very popular. Even uh, Edward Alby came by once after we'd done most of the conversion and said, he said it was the best hotel he'd ever stayed in in terms of the feel. Of course, knew Edward Albee's name from literature and who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. He's the greatest playwright in America, just about. And, uh, but I didn't believe it was him because he looked so young. I thought he was a poser, a typical LA poser. So I never acknowledged that. And he ended up uh, staying there on a regular basis. Uh, and uh, we ended up um, getting all the rooms ultimately done except for about 10 or 15 seniors, of which, in fact, that's probably why Edward Alvey liked it. He thought it was nice not to have a hotel that's filled up with fast, hip-type crowd that's always smoking joints or doing whatever they're doing. And um, so I got the hotel, and uh, I just finished the conversion, or most of the conversion, um, when Saddam Hussein decided to invade Kuwait. And, uh, and the United States uh, had sort of tricked him uh, into making that decision. And as a result, they picked a war, they picked a fight with Saddam Hussein. And that was the beginning of my downfall. And, and Saddam Hussein um, um, threatened to blow up all the airliners that were coming to America from Europe. So here I have just converted this to, for people to live in, you know, regular, bed and breakfast people. But it was the beginning of a big problem for me. It was essentially, it goes to show how you can be on a, on a huge role in your life, and then something happens that you couldn't possibly predict, and, and, and you have a reversal of fortune, which that was my reversal of fortune, was when that war started.